In the heart of one of the world's most bountiful agricultural regions, where countless crops grow, there's a deepening crisis, leaving communities with few places to turn. California's Central Valley produces more than a quarter of the nation's food, and farms account for 80% of California water use. For those who live near Central Valley farms, water can be hard to come by. Take Esther Espinosa. Estamos aquí en la parte del frente de mi casa en donde tenemos el pozo. Este es el tanque original de nuestro pozo, el cual ahorita está completamente seco. In April 2021, the well on Esther's property went dry, leaving her without a water supply. Cuando me dijeron que ya no tenía agua, me sentí como un escalofrío que me recorrió porque sentí miedo. Hubo momentos en donde sí no teníamos absolutamente nada de agua. Para el agua del consumo en la casa tengo que salir a comprarla. Es difícil vivir sin agua porque uno no puede hacer su vida normal. This map shows where wells have gone dry since 2021. The Central Valley is home to the vast majority of these dry wells. Generally, the wells that have gone dry, not exclusively, have been in agricultural areas. And generally, the wells that have gone dry are small systems and shallow domestic wells, which frequently are farm workers and frequently are the smaller, underserved communities that tend to be Latinos, African Americans, etc. So why exactly is this happening? In the state of California, low-income people of color have been not invited into water planning, have been disinvested for a long time. Throughout the 20th century, migrants came to the Central Valley to work on farms. Housing policies forced them to live in temporary homes, often without basic resources, like insulation, electricity, and running water. And as these temporary communities became permanent, they didn't become official cities, so they didn't receive basic infrastructure, like water. It's a clear indication of an environmental injustice. Estera lives in one of these communities, just outside a town called Riverdale. She isn't connected to the city's water line. So, like half a million other Central Valley residents, she relies on a domestic well that pumps groundwater. Groundwater is water stored underground between rocks and soil. It's one of two sources of water for California's farms and homes. The other is surface water, which collects in rivers, streams, lakes, and reservoirs. And as California faces yet another period of severe drought, both sources are becoming scarcer. Esther's neighbor, Carl Trahan, runs a small pistachio farm, and he's seen the drought's impact firsthand. Since he started his farm a few years ago, three of his four agricultural wells have gone dry. He didn't know the area by his house could go from looking like this to this. Typically, you'd be this would be the bottom of the river, and you'd have water all the way up to the to the top over there. I bought property on the river not knowing that this was the river. Since 2021, the government has sent less surface water to farmers because of drought. This year, most Central Valley farms will receive no surface water at all. Without its regular supply of surface water, the agricultural industry is increasingly turning to groundwater. But groundwater isn't exactly plentiful either. Agriculture in the Central Valley of California is also a miracle, and it's a good thing, but it may be too much of a good thing in that it's expanded beyond what the system can bear. The region is still feeling the effects of the last drought from 2012 to 2016, when farmers pumped more groundwater than could be replenished. For the first time in history, California is putting limits on groundwater use. In response, California passed legislation to try to protect groundwater resources but it won't be fully implemented until 2040, leaving room for overpumping in the short term. Normally, domestic wells pump water from shallow ground, but they often compete with deeper agricultural wells that use more water. And as they pump more, the aquifer starts to drain out, and shallower wells run out of water first. A stare situation is likely caused by a combination of drought and pumping by nearby farms. Yo noto también que los agricultores a mi alrededor, ellos siguen cultivando y siguen creciendo sus huertos. Me da tristeza notar que ellos están sacando agua de día y de noche, 
porque yo escucho las pompas, el sonido en la noche llega hasta mí y yo veo que eh, están por semanas, no paran en ningún momento. No llueve, la lluvia se ha ido y esto es un indicador muy rojo que yo tengo. Some scientists are projecting that the drought in the West will last until 2030. Today, Esther's well still runs dry. For now, she gets weekly water deliveries, funded from California's Human Right to Water Act, passed in 2012. But it's not a perfect fix. She's not sure exactly how long these weekly deliveries will last. And the truckton water she gets isn't safe to drink. Drilling a new well will cost tens of thousands of dollars, an expense she can't afford. And she doesn't qualify for state programs that could help. Las familias como la mía o familias de mediano o bajo ingreso no tenemos la posibilidad de enfrentar esta crisis, que no tenemos el dinero para perforar un pozo y hasta acá no llegan esos recursos. In the meantime, she's advocating for her community to connect to the city's water line. Esto es una emergencia, una emergencia para todos y sobre todo para familias como la mía que nos encontramos en una situación que no tenemos ayuda.